Hello everyone, if you are new here, my name is Ajay and I am currently pursuing masters in IIT Roorkee. I am starting a series of videos on VLSI and today's topic is about an internship opportunity in Texas Instruments. But before starting the video, if you have not joined our telegram channel where I share all the exam related updates and job notifications, make sure you check it out once. As you know, Texas Instruments visits top colleges like IITs and NITs for campus placements. But even if you are from Tier 2 or Tier 3 college, you can still get an opportunity to do an internship or you can get a full time offer also. Let's have a look on this. So this is the NPTEL website. They have a specific page for Texas Instruments India internship where they have clearly mentioned if you are a student completing 4th semester or 6th semester in BTEC or 2nd semester in MTech, you have to enroll for these courses basic electrical circuits or analog electronic circuits by professor Shanti Pawan or in fact you can enroll for analog IC design by professor Aniruddin. If you are a final year student either in BTech or MTech you will be eligible for a full time offer also but for that you have to be a top scorer in these courses. So they have clearly mentioned top scorer in these core courses will be eligible to interview for either internship or a full time offer. So this is an amazing opportunity if you are not from IITs or NITs this is a really good opportunity for you and the last date for registration in these courses is January 30 I guess. I'll share the direct links for these courses in the description you can go and check it out. Now I would like to share some interview transcripts from Texas Instruments but before sharing that I have a quick announcement for you. If you are stuck up in your revision for GATE 2023, YES Academy is launching a revision course. The cost of this course is 2000 but the first 1000 registrations would get this for 100 rupees. Yes you heard it right 100 rupees you have to use the code GATE 23. So they have given the schedule also. Every day they will be revising single subject. I will add more more details in the description you can uh, go and check it out. Coming back to interview experience, in IITs and NITs the Texas Instruments conducts two rounds. The first round is written stage and second round is interview. In written there will be three sections, analog, digital and aptitude. If you qualify analog and digital both these sections you will be eligible for interview in both roles. There will be 20 questions in each section and the time limit is 45 minutes for each section. These are some of the questions which I have gathered from my friends who have appeared for internship. So first they have asked what did you study in digital circuits and after that they have asked some basic questions like what are the basic building blocks of a combinational circuit and how to design a 3 input NAND from 2 input NAND and um, how to design a 4 input NAND from 2 input NAND. These kind of questions we can find in gate exam also. So these are pretty simple you just have to write for a 3 input NAND gate we need 3 2 input NAND gates. Similarly for a 4 input NAND gate we need 5 2 input NAND gates. So for a n input NAND gate how many? two input NAND gates we required. So if you compare these uh, expressions, if you compare 3 and 3, 4 and 5, you will get this expression 2n minus 3. So let me know in comment section if you do not understand this, I'll try to explain. And the next question is what is a critical path in a combinational circuit? This is a pretty simple one. You should explain this also in comment section. So let's see how many will get it right. And for a square wave of frequency f, design a f by 3 circuit. This is again a normal one. So we just need a mod 3 uh, counter. We can use a simple ring counter also with uh, 3 D flip flops. And what is the duty cycle for this? If the frequency is getting divided by 3, what is the duty cycle? 33.33% and they have also asked this question, how to change this duty cycle to 50% without changing the frequency? So to change the duty cycle without changing the frequency, we have to add some delay elements. And the next question was derive power expression for a CMOS inverter. So what is the power expression for a CMOS inverter? CV square into F. So we have to derive this expression. And most of the questions in Texas Instruments is uh, obviously derivation based. They want to analyze the approach that you are using. They are not asking directly definitions so just like in other interviews. And the last question is pretty interesting. For an N variable input, derive an expression for maximum possible Boolean functions. We have already read this formula multiple times in gate, 2 power 2 power N. But here they have asked to derive that expression. How will you get the 2 power 2 power N? So let's have a quick look at this. So for one variable, the different combinations that we get in truth table is 2, which is a comma a bar. Similarly, for two variables a and b, we get four combinations in truth table. a bar, b bar, a bar, b, a b bar and a b. Similarly, for three variables, we get eight combinations. That means for n variables, we get two power n combinations in truth table, right? So to get maximum possible Boolean functions, from this 2 power n combinations, we can choose not to select anything or we can choose one variable from this a, b, c, we can choose any one variable or we can choose two variables, let's say a, b or a, c or b, c or we can choose three variables and so on. We can choose 
all the n variables also to get the maximum possible boolean functions we know nc0 plus nc1 and so on ncn is nothing but 2 power n so if you compare these two things this expression would comes out to be 2 power 2 power n so that's how we get the final expression 2 power 2 power n so most of the questions were pretty interesting and pretty engaging also so these are some of the questions which i have got from my friends who have appeared for um, interview for internship purpose so if you found this video helpful and if you want me to cover other vlsa companies also like this video and subscribe to the channel even if you don't do any of these i thank you for watching this video till now take care and i'll see you all in the next video